Reading Pioneers is proud to present Promise You Will Be Kind Written by Yara Yardley Illustrated by Vicky Reds Chen Cho The classroom was buzzing with exciting banter on the first day of class. The kids were eagerly waiting at their desk for their teacher, Mrs. Maher, to arrive. A meek and timid girl called Jamie was one of the new classmates. As soon as Mrs. Maher entered the classroom, she noticed Jamie sitting alone in the back. Right away, Mrs. Maher asked if anybody would be willing to share their desk with Jamie. Immediately, Chen Cho raised his hand and volunteered to let Jamie use his desk. Chen Cho's thoughtfulness surprised Mrs. Maher. She praised Chen Cho for being so kind to a new classmate. As they worked on assignments together during the day, Chen Cho and Jamie became closer. During recess, they had snacks and played together. Chen Cho assisted Jamie in making friends with other classmates. As the weeks passed, the other students in the class started to take note of Chen Cho's inclusivity and generosity. They began to act like him. They started sharing food, helping one other with their homework, and inviting each other to play at recess. The classroom values became that of friendliness and warmth, and it all began with a small act of kindness by Chen Cho. That day, Chen Cho learned a valuable lesson. He found out that he could proactively be the one to make a difference. By setting a good example, he unintentionally guided his friends to be inclusive and generous too. Through his actions, he helped to cultivate he helped to cultivate empathy, compassion, and understanding amongst his peers and helped foster strong, lasting relationships, friendships within his class. Your promise. Promise that you will be kind when you see a new friend struggling to fit into your class. It must have been difficult for your friend to leave all their friends behind to come to a new school with new faces. Be the little torch of light to guide your friend into the new environment. Our promise. We will be proud of you forever and always for making others feel included and safe. Your light will always shine the brightest in our eyes. Jamie. Children laughing and playing could be heard across the playground. The kids enjoyed the pleasant weather by playing outside and running around on such a nice bright day. Jamie loved coming to the playground and each time she came, she would bring her favorite toys and snacks along. One day, when Jamie was playing in the sand pit, she noticed a girl playing by herself. She seemed to be rather lonely and a bit sad. Instantly, Jamie knew it would be nice to share her toys and snacks with this solitary girl. However, being rather reserved, Jamie hesitated before finally mustering up her courage to approach the girl. To her delight, Elizabeth, who had been playing alone, broke into a huge smile. Instantly, when Jamie walked over and spoke to her, they soon started playing together. When Jamie saw how much fun Elizabeth was having, she even gave her one of her favorite toys. From that day on, Jamie and Elizabeth became close friends and played together regularly, often sharing and exchanging toys and snacks. That day, Jamie learned a valuable lesson. She discovered that showing kindness to a stranger
could be daunting, yet rewarding. She found a new best friend by stepping out of her comfort zone to approach someone she did not know. By being kind and generous, she shared her toys and snacks without asking for anything in return. Yet she got the best present of all a lasting friendship. Your promise. Promise to be kind to others and to share, even with someone you may not know. A little act of kindness goes a long way, and you might gain something even more valuable in return, just like Jamie did. Our promise. You will be our pride and joy, forever and always. If you have tried your very best to be kind, yet face some form of backlash for reasons you do not understand, we will be here to assure you and tell you how proud we are of you for still choosing to be kind. Jacob Jacob's mother asked him to pick up two burgers for their dinner on the way home from school. After he had bought the burgers, Jacob continued on his usual walking path. Near the subway station, he saw a busker playing the guitar and belting out, You are my sunshine! Jacob stopped to watch the performance because it was so enjoyable. Most people walked by without stopping, and only a few passerby dropped some money into the guitarist's bag. Out of the corner of his eye, Jacob saw a little boy about three years old, sitting near the busker. He had a strong feeling that the boy was the guitarist's child, and he looked like he had not eaten too. Jacob wanted to donate some money to the busker, but he had no cash left as he had used the last of his money to buy the burgers. Then he had a brilliant idea. He did not have money but he had the two hot burgers he had just bought. Without hesitation, Jacob took the burgers from his bag and walked up to the busker and the child and offered the burgers to them. The child's face instantly lit up. The smile that he gave Jacob melted his heart, affirming to him that he did the right thing. Jacob went home without the burgers, but when his mother heard of what he did, she was so proud that she had raised a caring and giving son. That day, Jacob learned a valuable lesson. He realized that kindness came in other forms, besides just monetary donations. His one little act of kindness brought him immeasurable happiness in return. He gained the understanding that by helping others, he could lead a meaningful, and fulfilling life. Your promise. Promise that you will find opportunities to be kind. Think out of the box, for kindness comes in different ways, shapes, and sizes. Always share with the less fortunate or people who need your kindness, not just in the way you want to, but how they might need you to. Our promise. We will always love you unconditionally, forever and always. We hope that gives you the strength to show unconditional kindness to those around you who need it the most. Elizabeth One day, while Elizabeth was on her way home from school, she saw a child on a wheelchair trying to use his hands to wheel himself up a steep ramp. He looked like he had been trying for ages as beads of perspiration dripped down his forehead. Seeing his plight, she knew she had to do something to help him. She asked if he needed assistance, and the child nodded. He told Elizabeth his name was Regis. Elizabeth immediately took the handles and helped. Regis up the ramp. Regis was extremely grateful to Elizabeth, as no one else 
had offered their help. As Elizabeth could see Regis was very tired, she volunteered to push him home. Elizabeth and Regis chatted and got to know one another whilst walking home. Regis had recently lost his mobility due to a bad car accident, and he was still trying to get used to being in a wheelchair. Elizabeth and Regis started hanging out more often, and they became the best of friends. Regis showed Elizabeth how he continued to live his life the best way he possibly could, even though he was now wheelchair bound. That day, Elizabeth learned a valuable lesson. She learned that kindness could stem from observation and thoughtfulness. She took it upon herself to step up and help Regis get up the ramp, even though she could just walk on like the others. She saw how one seemingly small act of hers could benefit someone else so much. Through her kindness, she found a friend who taught her the strength of positivity and how everything in life should not be taken for granted. Your promise. Promise that you will be observant, kind, sensitive, and thoughtful while the time calls for it. Be kind to everyone you meet and treat them with care, respect, and love. Do not turn a blind eye to someone who needs you, even if that person is a stranger. Our promise. Actions speak louder than words. We will show you what it means to have a kind heart, forever and always. That way, you can also learn how to offer kindness to anyone or everyone who needs it. Remember, you will be kind. Thank you, Pioneers, for reading with us today to the book Promise You Will Be Kind by Yara Yardley. I love the promises after each chapter for the child and adult to make to one another. It was touching and I think sends a strong message to young readers that kindness isn't just one act, but a life goal. To support Yara, this book is available as an ebook or paperback on Amazon for you to check out other reviews and purchase for yourself or a loved one. You can also follow her on Instagram at LifeBooks Publisher and Send your thanks for writing such an incredible book. Both Amazon and Instagram links are available in the description box down below. I'm so thankful that Yara contacted me to read this book with you. If you have a book you'd like to be read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com so we can turn it into the next video. It would also be very helpful if you like the video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to stay tuned with future readalouds coming soon. Unfortunately, this is it for today. Remember to visit Amazon to get a copy of this book for your library so your children or students can learn the many promises of kindness. Thanks again, readers, for joining us today. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.